Hey, what's going on YouTube? We are doing the Dark Light Depths Heroic Challenge. Got a level 10 Alaric and all of the upgrades. Let us get into it. Starting off, get a level 4 Ground Pounder right in the center, similar to our last level. Then put two level 2 Archer Towers on the sides and a Mage Tower. I would just keep Alaric back, let him summon the Sand Warriors. He shouldn't have to fight melee unless it's like absolutely necessary. But I rotate, I rotate him down just to kill off these little guys here that are trying to climb up the walls. And then we're going to prioritize getting our Archer Tower upgrades when we have the money. Nice rain of fire there. These As the tanky guys clump up, it should finish most of them off. You really want these guys to die quickly so that you can focus on the blinkers that are coming out. It's that one little guy who's taking a little bit of time to kill. Um, but as long as they can die before the blinkers come out, that is ideal. Otherwise, the blinkers will start to get past as your towers focus on the tanky guy. It's just no good. Rush a level 4 archer tower and a level 3 mage tower. That is going to be important. Alaric died. Uh, he does get sniped by these crossbow people. So just keep that in mind. You want to move him around a little, a little bit. Make him do the dance. I dropped a rain of fire there as those blinkers were getting a little bit too close to our exit. So yeah, I'm just making Alaric run back and forth now. If I have him stop at all, he just takes so much damage from these enemy snipers. You gotta be really careful. So it's just like the first the campaign mode, it's just a constant uh, mini game of moving Alaric around. You can see we got the Scorched Earth upgrade on the Ground Pounder. That is a very useful upgrade here. So I highly prioritize that. I also got the Raven upgrades on the crossbows. We have two crossbow forts now. And I built an extra barrack tower just to give a little bit more stalling, even though they pretty much die immediately to the crossbow enemy snipers, but that's okay. The idea with the cheap barracks is that you can immediately upgrade it. It's like really cheap to do that. So Alaric again, just standing in the back. Anything that tries to slip by, you can rotate Alaric back. We're not really going to try to stop these summoners as much. We just have enough DPS where it doesn't really matter. And we're not, we never rotate Alaric to the front. It's just we need him in the back. So again, just try to pay attention to Alaric. We're going to be putting more Archer Towers now. You can say I added three additional Archer Towers, which we are quickly upgrading once we get the money. A lot of things are going to die. You can see there's just tons of little stuff, right? You get the little lizard guys, the blinkers. Keep upgrading your arch towers to get the DPS out. That's going to be once we, since we already have our ground pounder, and we now have a necromancer tower. The priority is just going to be upgrading our archer towers whenever you get a chance to do so, without letting Alaric die. Because you don't want Alaric to die, he can summon sand warriors and be really useful. So obviously, the fewer times Alaric dies the better. Now throughout this level and also through the Iron Challenge as well, I yes I pre-recorded the Iron Challenge because I plan to do it right after this one. I don't think the Dwarf upgrades are all that good, at least not in the Heroic and Iron Challenge. It's just, what are they going to do? I think the only upgrade that might be kind of worth it is the armor, giving them medium and then high level armor lets them negate like something like 70% of physical damage. That's pretty good, but hammers are bad. I tried upgrading the hammers, and I didn't notice the damage output on the guys very much, like, at all. Just it barely made a difference. The money you spend on it is just much better off spent on DPS or more towers. Like, Archer Towers are just so much better here. I don't know. Maybe you guys have different experience, but I think the Dwarven guys are a little bit underwhelming. I mean, they're tanky, don't, they, don't get me wrong, but, I mean, Archer Assassin skills are pretty good, Templar Knights are pretty good. Hammer just, the Dwarven, just they just feel kind of, I don't know, underwhelming, especially here where you just need the DPS. Uh, speaking of which, five level four Archer Towers. I think that's six, all with the Raven upgrades. This is going to be very important, just have to keep cranking out the DPS here. See, I now have the 7th and quickly the 8th and 9th crossbow fort coming out. 
We're not really going to try to do any kind of fancy totem setup. I was thinking maybe a totem tower in the center getting like a debuff, but it's not that important. As long as you can keep up with the DPS on the crossbow forts, that's all we really need. But I would try to get as many crossbow forts as you can before going too heavy into upgrades. Obviously, the crossbow forts in the very back that cover the exit are going to be the most important ones to prioritize upgrades. Otherwise, just get as many forts as you can. And with that, we should be cleaning up here. Last little guys, there we go. Nice heroic wings. Thank you for watching.